Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh is with us now. He's a retired physician and founder of Health Watch USA. Good morning, Doc. Uh, good morning, Jack. Tell us what you know about this new variant that we've been hearing uh, about. There's actually a, a couple of strains, right? Well, yes. And of course, we've talked about this all last year. And be honest with you, I was a uh, pretty much attacked, not physically, but verbally, of being fear-mongering when you start mentioning about new strains. But when you spread the virus, this is what happens. I mean, this is just entirely predictable. And the strain which we are really concerned about is the South African variant. And this strain, there's been reports that it's attacking the younger individuals, most people are agreed now that it's also much more infectious, similar to the UK variant. But most disturbingly, a number of the scientists, including Dr. Fauci, feel that this may actually tend to evade a vaccine. They're not sure if it does it 100%, but they are concerned that the vaccine may not be as effective against it as what it should be. And because of this, Dr. Fauci also noted that these vaccines, Moderna and Pfizer, are very flexible. In other words, within just a few months, and few doesn't mean eight or ten, it means one or two, they could actually have a modified vaccine up and running. And so that this is important, and this is another reason why if you get a vaccine, you still need to wear a mask. And also, we all need to get vaccinated, and we really do need to follow public health advice. Because if we don't control the spread of the virus, we're going to find that the viral spread can outstrip our capacity of our big pharma to make these vaccines. And so we need to act sensibly. We need to follow public health advice. All right, let's go local here. Uh, who's next in line for the COVID-19 vaccine in Kentucky? Well, the next person in line is going to be those people who are above the age of 70 and first responders, along with teachers K through 12. And this is very good news because once we get out of the first group, the governor has stated he is accelerating the vaccinations I believe at one point he said possibly even calling out the National Guard if needed. And as you know, that's one of the points we talked about on Monday. So a phase 1B will be around shortly. And then after that, phase 1C, which then involves the vast majority of Kentuckians. I know it says only those high at risk, but if you're overweight, you smoke, you're above the age of 60, you fall into that group. Uh, so high risk, being smoking, overweight, above 60, into that group. The next group is above the age of 40, and the next group after that, above the age of 16. Children are last. That's not because they feel children are at extremely low risk, but we just don't have the data on children yet. And so we really do need to get that data first because we want to have our decisions being driven by data. Uh, Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, always good to talk to you, sir. We will uh, speak to you again on Friday. Thank you. Thank you, sir.